This is a 4L60, also known as a 4L65 or 4L70 e-transmission. And these things are a piece of shit. They will fail, built or not built, stock or not, they will eventually fail. And the most common problem with these things that like to fail is these guys right here. Your three, four, clutch pack. Junk, junk, junk. What's up YouTube, how's everybody out there doing today? Guess you guys have all been waiting for this video to come out, so I figured it's time for me to speak out about a 4L60 that supposedly has been damaged because of me building it wrong. And I guess now I gotta make a video about it. I gotta talk about this situation with my viewers and uh, let you know my side of the story and what has gone on and what has transpired and what has continued to go on here. So uh, let's hop in the truck. Uh, we're actually, it's snowing like hell outside. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the camera up and we're gonna give this thing a little discussion time. There's a good old diesel out there. If you guys don't want to be a part of the drama and the bullshit, which is pretty much all it is at this point, uh, go ahead and click off this video right now. If you are those 12-year-old uh, kids and, and even some adults that act like they're 12-year-olds and uh, want to be a part of the drama, then please continue to watch. And obviously, like usual, like some of you guys like to do out there, comment below your obscene and asshole-ish comments and, uh, and stuff like that. So, And I'll be more than happy to delete them for you um, if they get too, too bad. Um, I'll be honest with you, in my last video, there are some very, very unnecessary comments from some people that uh, were deleted, and I will delete your comments. It's my channel, and I can do that. That's the gift that I have. I have that magic hand that can delete comments, which I will do. I'm not going to allow people to get on my channel for people that are viewing my videos to say obscene, unnecessary things that they don't need to be saying. Uh, there's a limit to what you should and shouldn't say. And some of these uh, individuals uh, just, they're, they're saying some really, really nasty things. And I don't appreciate it. And my viewers don't appreciate it. And they don't need to see it. So it's time for some of them people just to grow the hell up, honestly, and, and be a man, to be honest. Let's go for a ride. And we'll discuss a little situation going on here. What is up, YouTube? How's everybody out there today? And since you guys love the drama, here we are talking drama. Let's just spread the fucking drama. Because that seems to be the only thing that matters on YouTube. Nobody seems to really care about anything else. So, fuck it. Might as well be a part of it, right? Might as well be a part of it. So, obviously, uh, I'm not going to say any names in this video. But uh, there's an individual out there, a guy, that has a trailblazer. That has now called me out publicly on uh, YouTube. Basically stating that I screwed him out of money. About 25, 2600 bucks, give or take. Which, uh, you know, is, is kind of interesting because uh, basically what I did for this Trailblazer, if you don't already know, um, is I built the transmission in it and I did a tune on it, a little street tune. Built the transmission to the street tune. So when I built this transmission, I, I built it with all upgraded parts. Um, basically my regular Trans Am Camaro build, uh, you know, for, for heavy driving and, and stuff like that. Uh, now, just so you guys know, I didn't say abuse. Heavy driving is not abuse. Uh, things still need to be taken care of and cautionary measures still need to be taken when uh, when driving a vehicle, even with a built transmission. Anybody out there that knows anything about uh, transmissions will understand this. Um, they do fail if you do abuse them. Like pulling stumps out of your backyard with your truck. Just name a few if you understand what I'm saying. Um, so I guess uh, what ended up happening was this uh, transmission started having issues. It did not fail. And now, it was no inclination of failing. It had issues, and I was contacted. And I talked to the customer, and I said, hey, uh, try this and try that and, and stuff like that. And uh, if it doesn't work, then we'll get it down here, and we'll, we'll take a look at it as soon as we can. Now, as you guys know, I'm a one, two-man band. Um, and I don't, I don't have a whole lot of... Uh, you know, free time in my life, to be honest. I got, I work all the time, and I try to get things done as quickly as possible, but my shop is backlogged. It's backed up. That's just the truth of the matter. And uh, and it's, it's a sucky thing, but it's a good thing, because I know I still have lots of work there to do to make money and, uh, and try to pay my bills and take care of my kids and not be stolen from 
like some other people that have you know stole from me in the past literally thousands of dollars we won't name those uh, individuals that own performance vehicles either in this video um, as you can tell I'm probably a little pissed off because you can only take so much uh, pretty much over a year and a half two years of of people telling you your shit when you've been doing this for so long and uh, it's just I guess it's time for me to talk back and start making some fucking videos about some youtubers and about some other people that like to run away with your money and like to make you look like crap when they want to lie about shit but we'll get to that in a different video maybe lots of information on that stuff to come too but anyway so he ends up bringing the, the vehicle down it's down here for a little over a month haven't gotten a chance to really look at it i did test drive it though nothing seemed out of the ordinary everything seemed okay i think if i remember correctly he was complaining about a flare a very slight flare um if i remember correctly and i didn't feel anything it seemed fine everything seemed okay the fluid didn't seem smoked and you know in all honesty the kind of the vehicle just kind of sat for a week or two three um because i got busy doing other stuff and uh and, and so on and so forth um he ended up contacting me once or twice um i uh you know you know honestly I, i'll tell you what let's let's go on my phone here let's look him up i'm not going to show his name like i said but uh we're going to go on here and we're going to type in his name in my phone book. I've had this phone for over a year. I have, which is beautiful, of uh, I keep my text messages and my phone calls unlimited so they never get erased. So I can literally look you up if you've called me 20 million times and uh, I can see if you've called me. So the only text message I have from him is November 3rd. And it says, have you gotten a chance to look at my trailblazer? And unfortunately, I didn't see it or I got busy or, or some of that nature. And I, I will admit to that, I did get busy probably. And I just kind of forgot to answer him back. And I apologize for that. That was my fault. Lack of communication on me. My fault. And I understand that. Um, all of a sudden, I come into work one day and the, the vehicle's gone. It's gone. Um... And I, I go to contact him and I'm saying, you know, hey, uh, did you, I think I contacted him over Snapchat or, or something, which is a big mistake to be honest. I should have never done that. Um, I was like, hey, did you come get your vehicle? And he's like, yeah, I came and got it with my spare keys on Sunday. And, uh, and um, I'm taking it to another shop to have them look at it. I'm like, all right, whatever, dude. You know, like, I can't help you with something that you're not going to leave down here. Now, mind you guys, the first time that truck came down here, it was here for a month and a half getting built uh, because my lift was full and he knew about that and the second time around he also knew about that and on top of that the first time around when the training was being built never really contacted me about anything and uh, just ended up calling him one day and saying hey your vehicle's done come get it um, but that's nor here or there to be honest with you uh, so the vehicle's gone I wipe my hands clean of it I'm like alright you know what the vehicle's gone what am I going to do? Get him to bring it back down again? He took the vehicle. You know what I mean? What am I going to do? So, um, a few weeks go by. So, I would say maybe after Christmas, beginning of January, something like that. And he's posting everywhere and he's talking shit on me and, and saying this and saying that and blah, blah, blah. And he, I, I contact him. I actually did contact him. I was like, yo, man, what's going on? He's like, oh, well, the training needs this much work. Blah, blah. I'm like, well, what do you want me to do? And and to be honest with you, I think the conversation just kind of ended then. We stopped talking to each other. Um, you can only continue on a conversation so long until you just can't continue it on anymore. Um, you know what I mean? So I tried to contact him. It just kind of fell through. I guess he took it somewhere else, got it rebuilt, whatever the case may be. It's, I guess it's a done deal now. I don't know what else to do. Obviously, he's pissed off and he took it somewhere else to get rebuilt. All right, you know? Um, and I'm not a bad guy to deal with. I, you know, I really ain't. I'm backlogged. I might be hard to get a hold of sometimes. People that know me know this, but I'm not a bad guy to get along with. I will go out of my way for anybody to help them. I will. That's just the way I am. I always have been. Um, so then recently, obviously, I see this video pop up and people are contacting me and they're saying, hey, Andy, this guy's talking smack on your transmission build and all this other stuff. And I'm like, what the heck is going on here now? Because... He was making obscene comments and stuff on my Instagram, and I was like, I don't need this. You made your choice. You came and got your vehicle without notice, and you took it. You took it. You know what I mean? Um, there's other ways to get a hold of me if, if the whatever way you tried failed. And I can guarantee you didn't try every single way, because 
I have to be honest with you guys. Um, <laughs> there's 14 year old kids, 12 year old kids that are my YouTube fans from around the country. Literally find my phone number and call me all the time to say hi, all the time. So if they can do it, there's really no reason why nobody can actually at some point get a hold of me if they really, really need to. I've got 12 year old kids that do it all the time. Maybe that was one of the problems. Maybe I just had so many calls coming in. I don't know that. Maybe my message, my my, uh, maybe my voicemail box was full and he couldn't get through to the voicemail. I have no idea what the situation was. And there's been plenty of times my voicemail box has been filled up to 45 messages every single day. If you guys remember the videos from way, 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 way back in the day, you noticed I was getting thousands of calls a day. It was freaking crazy and I hated it. And that hasn't stopped. It, it's continued on, not as bad as it used to be, but it still get a lot of calls. So I waited a day or so and I'm just kind of seeing it and, and I was like, wow, congratulations, 10,000 views. That's that's really awesome. Thanks for making me look like a dirt bag when I'm not. So I contact him. I'm like, hey man, what's going on here, dude? What is happening? I was like, I thought you got this thing rebuilt, blah, blah, blah. He's like, yeah, you know, you know, he already had a cocky attitude about the whole situation. So I was like, listen, man, you know, how can we fix this? What do you want me to do for you? He's like, oh, well, you know, I'd like a refund. I'm like, well, what a re what kind of refund do you want? He's like, well, I paid $1,388.60 for this rebuild. I'm like, show me a receipt. Let me look at it. He shows me a receipt that has no description of anything on it except for the fact that it was remanned, whether it be a remand transmission or they messed with the transmission that I already built. I don't know. A torque converter and labor for install and removal, and that was it. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right now, there's no reman transmission out there that you can buy, none, that's gonna cost, I think it was $780 or 800 bucks or something like that is what they said on the receipt. And I'm not gonna name the company either. Not gonna put that out there. But um, there's no way. Maybe they just took it apart and cleaned up the, the clutches, which I was informed by him, because I asked him what was wrong with it. He said, oh, there was a, a backwards washer and, and seal or bearing on the three, four clutch packs, which, uh, Unfortunately, I told him this as well. There's no three, four clutch packs with a bearing and a seal on the back or bearing a, a washer on the back side of the three, four clutch packs. There's one on the input drum uh, input shaft, but that doesn't go in there at all. So, and that's just something to ride on. It's just, the drum just rides on that. Uh, the second thing he did tell me was there is some dirt. They found some dirt in a stuck valve. Now that's very possible. I can, I can see a, a dirty valve causing an issue eventually. When it was down in my shop, it didn't seem to have any issues. It seemed to work fine. I explained that to you guys, just like I said. Now, by him having a problem with it, I guess he said he had a problem with it in September or something. September of 2018, he said he had a problem. So I had him try a few things over a period of a couple days, maybe a week. And then I had him bring it down. Well, he didn't bring it down to October, which means he was still driving it for a few weeks. Possibly. Possibly still driving this thing damaged for a few weeks. Uh, before he brought it down to me. And then when he went to pick it up, he drove it back home, supposedly damaged. Even though I didn't physically find anything wrong with it, he drove it home. Which, if there was a problem or a stuck valve or some dirt in the pan, that would definitely cause an issue. And it would tear up something. And by what my understanding is, I think more than likely what it sounds like is maybe the 3-4 clutch pack took a dump on it, possibly. I don't know. Which is a very, very common failure for those 4 all 60 es Anybody that freaking knows these trainees will know the three, four clutch pack, no matter what you do to them, they will eventually fail if you're beating the shit out of it. If you let the training get hot, if you're not, if you're beating on it and not paying attention to things, um, it, it will fail. It, it, they just do. That's just the way it is. It doesn't matter if there's a high performance build done to it. It doesn't matter if it's a stock build. It doesn't matter. It's, it's irrelevant information because the 4060s are just not, they're not built to be abused. Like I said before, abused, not powered through but abused simple and plain you start abusing things tearing stumps out of your backyard with your truck that's not supposed to be doing that well guess what guys it's gonna fucking fail something's gonna happen it's the fluid's gonna get hot there's gonna be dirt created from the clutches burning up and that clutch material goes into the valve body and then the valve body has stuck valves and guess what happens you damage a transmission simple and plain simple and plain you know what? I wanted to wipe my hands clean of this. So I contacted him. I told him, listen, man, what's the bill? He told me the bill. So I said, listen, I'll give you an, a, a set amount of money here. You know, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to say what it is. But uh, he disagreed. 
So I offered him a little bit more and he disagreed. And believe me when I tell you guys, it was it was a very fair number to, to, to make this guy happy. There's really no reason why he shouldn't have taken it. And really the only um, stipulation that I really was, you know, wanted was I just wanted the video taken down. It's not that hard to ask, but, and I'll never, I won't forget what he, what he messaged me. He messaged me, he literally messaged me. He's like, I've gained over a hundred new subscribers from this video. And obviously you guys, if you've seen the video, you're going to see it has 10,000 views, close to 10,000, probably over by the time this video goes up. And I think that says a character about somebody, to be honest. You know, I'm willing to make this right because of, obviously, my fault of non-communication, which I will admit, I do apologize for that non-communication. But the training was built right in the first place. And it had an issue. And then the issue was the communication part, which I understand. But the training issue was not there when it came down to get checked out. And the training issue, or the training, lasted for probably over 8,000 miles, over six months. It lasted, it was fine. Even when it came down to me in October, it drove fine. It was okay. So even longer than that, so seven, eight months, it was fine. Then he drove it again into January. So we're almost about a year of him technically driving this vehicle other than about a month or two out of it from rebuild and having it come down for me to look at. So almost a year this training was, was good with 8,000 miles on it. And I don't know what he was doing with the truck. I have no idea. Nobody knows what he was doing with the truck. He could have been out there neutral dropping it. No idea. So I offered him an amount of money to, of the refund. I manned up. I was like, here, man, listen, I'll give you this. Just all I ask is take the video down. He denied taking the video down. He actually told me, he said, no. He's like, if you give me more money, then I'll take the video down, which is kind of like blackmail, to be honest. Why would you say something like that? So I was like, dude, like, come on, man. Like, just take the damn video down. I'll give you the money and we'll tell, we'll wash our hands clean. You never have to talk to me again. You can leave a bad review on my Facebook or whatever. I don't care. Just Let's just get past this. You know what I mean? Let's get past this point. And he wouldn't budge. He just wouldn't budge. And I, like I said, I offered him a very fair amount in my eyes. A very fair amount for what he paid, you know, for the transmission that he got rebuilt. Which wasn't my responsibility, to be honest. The, tra the, the truck was down there for a reason. He should have never taken it in the first place. He should have never taken it on a Sunday when, technically, I wasn't even there. I don't work weekends most of the time, except for recently. But I wasn't even there. So why would you come down on a weekend, grab the truck, and leave with your spare keys, and then leave your keys with me? Which I do still have, by the way. I did not throw them out in a trash can or anything of that nature because you know, I'm not a freaking asshole. But, uh, so yeah, so there we are. You know what I mean? He denied, denied, denied. I'm like, well, sorry, dude. Like, then I'm, I'm really not obligated to help you anymore. I think I've been more than fair. I think I've tried to offer you, uh, some refund money back to make you a happy camper. And you, you don't want to, you know, put the video down. The other thing he suggested was, oh, well, if you pay me the lesser amount, I'll keep the video up. And then I'll make another video saying that we rectified everything, which kind of defeats the purpose because then, you know, unfortunately I hate to say it, but my name's out there. And I have to protect my name and, and I have to protect my business name. I've been doing this a long time. I've been building trainees for a long time too. So it's not like I haven't been building trainees for a long time, just so you guys know. I've been building transmissions for freaking years, guys. So basically, you know, I'm not gonna allow a video that's gonna be published or try to allow a video that's gonna be published to stay up after I rectify the situation just so my name continues to look bad, whether he puts a link in the in the video saying, oh, well, we rectified everything, go look at the comments or go look at the description to see the new video. People don't do that, but how many people are gonna watch the new video? They're gonna see the old video and they're, Andy at DFR, he's an asshole. He doesn't cover his work. When in fact, I did cover my work. And who's to say, even if I did give him that, that refund, that he would even take down that video and or make another video. I would live up to my end of the bargain in the trust of the fact that he would, whatever he would decide to do, make a video or whatever, or take a video down. And, um, you know, maybe he might not do that. He might say, you know what? Screw this. Screw this guy. I'm going to leave this video up and I'm going to continue to make him look like crap. Even though he was a nice guy, he contacted me and freaking made things right with me. You know what I mean? On a side note real quick, I do want to apologize to all my viewers out there that watch me. Tonight's video, the video that you're watching right now, was going to be on uh, Street Speed 717's old vet, getting the engine in and everything, but obviously I have to now, you know, do this video instead and 
and uh, it kind of sucks because I'm sure you guys would rather have seen the vet video instead of this video, but I feel like this video was necessary to, to come up and talk about this. But uh, yeah, so, you know, obviously the refund was denied by him. He didn't want it. He was reasoning around and uh, was trying to ho coax more money out of me and give me uh, ultimatums on basically if I gave him less or gave him more, this is what he was or wasn't going to do, which, you know, I'll be honest with you guys, really isn't a cool way to, to go about something when somebody is trying to help the situation get better, not worse. And it's just, it's unfortunate because I think the situation has legitimately gotten worse at this point uh, because of that. Uh, so, you know, it kind of is what it is at this point. Um, more than likely, I'll be seeing him in small claims court. I've already contacted my lawyer about said video. Uh, he's seen said video. And uh, we'll be doing some other stuff as well with uh, with my attorney. But um, we'll see where it goes from there. This will be the only video I will make of this subject. Won't be talking about it again because my channel is not about this. My channel is about uh, modifying cars and building cars and uh, you know, having a fun time and Leroy Jr. and just having a good time. That's what my channel's about. It's not about this bullshit here. So I won't be making any more updates on this video, unfortunately. And uh, that's just kind of what it is, guys. And I do apologize. If you want to see more about it, then I'm sorry. Don't know what to tell you. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that's the deal with that. I, uh, I came forward. I apologize for my lack of communication, which is pretty much all that was and uh, I offered a refund and I got denied so uh, there's nothing more here to talk about to be honest until uh, I end up uh, taking them to court uh, for some stuff and uh, and seeing where it goes from there so guys if you enjoyed the video and I hope you did I'm actually at advanced auto parts right now which looks kind of closed no it's not closed my buddy Dave's here I'm at advanced auto parts right now I gotta pick up some parts did some driving around and uh, I gotta go because I got shit to do you know what I mean, guys? You know what I mean? So if you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you did. Do me a favor. Give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing. Facebook is also Diablo Formula Racing. Keep a lookout. Next video, I promise you, will be on the Corvette, guys. It will be on the Corvette. I swear to God. I swear to God. I'm sorry for giving you this drama, freaking Keemster bullshit alert going on crap here. So I apologize for that. Other than that, guys, deuces.